You've been taken for granted. Your kindness for a weakness, treated horribly, lied about, passed up for a promotion you deserved. Do you need God's justice, the vindicator? Let's talk about that. Hi everyone, welcome to Mana for Thought. The enemy is a thief. The word says that he comes to kill, steal, and to destroy. And if you have named the name of God, you are in his way and will be a target. He has stolen from you a peace of mind, your health, relationships. You've lost much at the hand of the enemy. When you're committed to doing God's will, he will attack you and he will use people to do it. But one thing we must remember is according to Ephesians 6, 12, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So it's not the person that you're looking at. It is those spiritual wickedness behind them. Vindication in the Greek Strong's Concordance means a defense, avenging, vengeance, or to give justice over. We must leave room for God's wrath and wait for the vengeance God brings in his own time. When we relinquish to God or right to take revenge, we show faith in his justice. I know that sometimes you ask the question, why Lord? I do it too. Why do they get away with it? And you may feel the urge to retaliate, to take matters into your own hands, not to wait on God's justice because you don't think they will face any repercussion for their actions against you or you decide to just give up. Be reminded though that the battle, it's not yours, it is the Lord's. When we are seeking God's justice, looking for his vindication, you must demonstrate forgiveness for the people who hurt you, who came up against you and tried to do you harm. We need to clear the way for God to be our vindicator. And he can't work in a sinful atmosphere. And unforgiveness leads to sin. Romans 12 verse 19 through 21 says, Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in doing so, thou shalt heap coals of fire on his head. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Paul was quoting from the book of Proverbs, verse, um, verse, chapter 25, verse 21 and 22. But what does heap coals of fire on his head really mean? Let's look at it in a literal sense and picture coals of fire on your head. I'm sure that's not a pleasant feeling. Now let's look at it figuratively. This indicates that if the person you, if the person that hurt you, if you are kind to them, it will cause them very acute mental pain. It will cause them emotional distress. The burning coals that are heaped on his head could be a reference to the burning shame he will feel as his conscience works upon him. But if you insist on retaliating, God will, he'll back off and leave you to it. He'll say, you know what, Allison, have had it. But if you put the situation into his hands, the test can result in a testimony to his goodness and grace in your life. So instead of wasting time complaining, let's pray about it. How do we receive God's justice? We ask, 
we ask him for it. But we have to make sure we are innocent before God. The way to obtain, the way to obtain this is through forgiveness. But recognize that forgiveness doesn't mean the person is off the hook. It means that you recognize God as your vindicator and you are expecting his justice in your life. Listen, you feel hurt. You were used, disregarded, mistreated, and abused. And you want someone to hurt like you do. But that's not what God's justice look like. It's not tit for tat. They hurt you and God is going to hurt them. God is a mystery and he's past finding out. His justice is not against the person, but against the adversary that used that person who came up against you. His vengeance and his justice will not look like yours and mine. He's a God of love and forgiveness. His vengeance and vindication could come in a way that will bring someone to Christ, to repentance out of the stronghold of the enemy. God will bring vindication upon the sinning heart, responding the way Jesus did to his enemies, allows burning coals of God's righteousness and justice to operate within the soul of that person and hopefully bring him to repentance. There are also times when God will raise you up above the people who hurt you. But you must first raise up in your spirit with a forgiving heart and allowing God to be your vindicator the same way he was for Joseph after his brothers sold him into slavery. My friends, like Joseph, allow God to be your vindicator. Allow him in your life because the power is in the process that you go through and what they meant for bad. God will turn it into something good. So don't allow people's actions to bring you, to bring you, to cause you to react in a negative way. You serve a God that is mighty. I'm Alison Cornelius, and thank you for joining me on Manna for Thought.